Greetings, logicians. I'm Patrick Smith from Disenthrall, here to guest host another daily fallacy video. Today we have misleading vividness. This is a small number of dramatic and vivid events being taken to outweigh a significant amount of statistical evidence. The logical form looks something like dramatic or vivid event X occurs, does not jive with the majority of the statistical evidence, therefore events of type X are likely to occur. For example, in Detroit there is a 10-year-old living on the street selling drugs to stay alive. In Los Angeles, a 19-year-old prostitute works the streets. America's youth is certainly in serious trouble. Well, while the story of the 10-year-old illegal pharmacist and the 19-year-old village bicycle is certainly disturbing, it is just two specific cases out of tens of millions, a vast majority of whom live pretty regular lives, far from being considered in any serious trouble. This is a form of appeal to emotion that causes us to hold irrational beliefs about a population due to a few select cases. The example could have featured two other youths, in Detroit, there is a 10-year-old who plays the piano as beautifully as Beethoven. In Los Angeles, a 19-year-old genius is getting her PhD in nuclear physics. America's youth is certainly something of which we can be proud. Another example. It was freezing today as it was yesterday. My plants are now dead and my bird bath turned to solid ice and it's only October. This global warming thing is a load of crap. Well, whether global warming is a load of crap or not, concluding that by a couple of unusually cold days is fallacious reasoning at its finest. Don't let your pessimism or optimism cloud your judgments on reality. Thanks for watching. If you want to catch more of my work, check me out at disenthrall.me.